And finally, new rule, if you look like you've got a stick up your ass, you... <laughs> you've probably got a stick up your ass. <laughs> now... <laughs> when President Hellboy first dug William Barr out of the garage, pundits said, oh, at least this one's normal. He's an indoor Republican. <laughs> but now the pundits are asking, how could this smart, normal person fall under the Trump spell so fast? We thought he was old school and institutionalist. What happened to Bill Barr? I'll tell you what happened. In 1950, he was born into a strange cult, and he's never been able to leave. It's called Catholicism. <laughs> That's the secret to why Bill Barr was so anxious to become Donald Trump's loyal hand. He's just the latest in a long line of Republican Catholic moralizers who actually believe... Well, here's Barr in 1995. We have lived through 30 years of permissiveness, the sexual revolution and the drug culture. The greatest threat to free government, the founders believed, was not governmental tyranny, but personal licentiousness. You see, Barr knows Trump wants to be a dictator, but who cares? It's not about tyranny, it's about tits. <laughs> Barr once wrote in Catholic Lawyer magazine, worst swimsuit issue ever. <laughs> <laughs> the founders believed the choice was clear. We could govern ourselves guided by religion and morality, or we could lose our liberty altogether. Yes. They believed it so strongly, they wrote it down nowhere. <laughs> <They're>... <laughs> there is nothing about morality in the Constitution. It's like Jesus on the subject of butt sex. It ain't in there. <laughs> it's in here. <clears throat> Permissiveness, licentiousness, drug culture. I've heard these words and listened to the same horseshit my whole life. This creepy substrain of Catholic conservatives who think limited government means government should put a limit on people's sex lives. <laughs> Sean Hannity, Bill O'Reilly, Rick Santorum, who predicted gay marriage would lead to man-dog marriage. Give it to me. Really? <laughs> Pat Buchanan, Bill Bennett with his Book of Virtues, Robert Bork, Newt Gingrich, geez. Law and Order, Special Virgins Unit. <laughs> it's almost like there's a religious war going on in this country. There is a religious war going on in this country. See? <laughs> And then there's the Supreme Court. The country is 21% Catholic, but the court is 67% Catholic, including Clarence Thomas and his batshit wife, Ginny. <laughs> and until recently, their mentor, Antonin Scalia, who was really hardcore. I mean, Mel Gibson's dad-level Catholic. <laughs> Scalia once said, if it were up to me, I would put in jail every sandal-wearing, scruffy-bearded weirdo who burns the American flag. Yes, because we can never trust a sandal-wearing, scruffy-bearded weirdo. <laughs> okay. okay, maybe one. And now we have Brett Kavanaugh. He of the landmark case, Taste Great versus Less Filling. <laughs> <laughs> He's another one of these. In the 90s, he wrote the Star Report, and he wanted it to be about Bill Clinton's cock. He said Clinton had disgraced his office, the legal system, and American people by having sex with a 22-year-old, and it's our job to make his pattern of revolting behavior clear piece by painful piece. 
Jesus, he's not just mad he wasn't invited to the party, he's mad there is a party. <laughs> These are people who have a real problem with unsanctioned pleasure. And growing up Catholic myself, I know a lot of it stems from being taught not to masturbate as a teenager. You've got Jesus on the cross in your bedroom, <laughs> staring at you all the time. <laughs> when you touch yourself, there he is, disappointed. <laughs> it's like you're crucifying him all over again. <laughs> The Catholic Church is very good at pretending it's modernizing. A pope will change the rule about no meat on Friday or say atheists can get into heaven like we care. <laughs> but the hardcore inquisitors never go away. And they think their job is to protect the Republican Party at all costs so it can fight the real enemy, hippies. Shown here in 1969 and on a continuous loop in Republican heads. <laughs> it's the 50th anniversary of Woodstock this summer, and conservatives need to be told that's all it is. It's not the anniversary of when everything went to shit because some kids got high and got laid and God didn't punish them. They just had to listen to Sha Na Na. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, there was a sexual revolution, and you lost. Now stop bitching about it, because Bill Barr, he's that guy. Woodstock ruined America. Now put prayer back in school, or I'll never stop dreaming about this guy's dick. <laughs>